we learn about server side events this is a one way communication from server to client this is a feature that has been made easier in dotnet 10 easier in dotnet 10 this feature was already available it is not new but it has been made easier in dotnet 10 which is what we are going to explore in this tutorial let's see how it works this is a browser a client makes a request to a web api to a web api hosted on your ASP.NET Core server and let's say the web API it gives temperature at intervals of 2 seconds these will cause a persistent connection between this is a persistent connection between your browser and your web API on the server side and as soon as data is ready it will send it as an event it will raise an event on the client it will send data and on the client side javascript is used to handle the event that has been raised from your web api server sent events this is what exactly we are learning in this tutorial let's open chrome browser and get dotnet 10 sdk this sdk is available for download from google we make a search and here we have a download page this page shows dotnet 10 preview sdk and it also shows the SPNet core runtime then dotnet desktop runtime but we will be interested in sdk because it includes it includes everything so we do not have to take everything separately on the windows let's go to binaries and on x64 let us download a uh, let us download you can see it will be downloading in the downloads folder let us click and start getting our zipped file the binaries we'll get and we will run everything programmatically so we are downloading dotnet 10 sdk and some sort of this story comes up and we will copy all these extract all these to some place so let us select all and copy we will extract them to some folder dotnet underscore sdk i have extracted everything here and here we will be creating our application let's close everything else in the same folder i will create a new folder and i will give it a name my asp net core app this is the application and since i am doing everything programmatically from command so i will just create a program.cs file here this is an empty file i'll write code later on similarly i'll create a new folder to hold my html file ww root and inside this i will create my index.html file index.html file so i have these two things and this is the folder which is i have created just now i will open this program.cs in let's in visual studio i could have opened it in any browser i have already written the code so let me explain first of all we uh, this is the 
the program.cs file this is a reference to ASP.NET Core SDK the using statements this code is available in the description I have copy pasted it app builder use static files and then we have before I uh, let me show the record this is the weather record flow temperature and humidity I have added a static function to get next record this get next record function while cancellation a new weather record it yields the yield keyword is used and then we have a delay to simulate the next reading the time between next reading you can see the code in the description and now let's come to the map get weather endpoint and type results dot server sent events so this is the place where the whole trick goes on get next record and event name is given as on record this is the event that will be handled in the javascript code so this is the program.cs file you can take note of you can see it in the downloads but let me now open the index.html this is the file that contains javascript so we have doc type html head then body inside body we have the unordered list so this is the unordered list where lines will start appearing event source is created this event source is a part of javascript let me show you where it is mozilla event source we can search event source is an old api it is widely supported and here are certain limitations are given that in some cases per browser limits will be six which is more more than sufficient for a website then there are other things examples have been given you can yourself study the javascript part but this is the page that i wanted to show you that details of event source are available here so let's come back to event source this is connected to the weather endpoint this weather endpoint is map get and then certain events when it is opened when some error occurs add event listener on record so it's on record this event whenever our data is sent th uh, this on record will fire and here you can see we create a new li and event dot data is extracted and temperature humidity are shown so this is the simple thing that keeps on going on this is the program dot cs so this is where the data keeps being sent and it is handled in the index dot html now this is the on record event which keeps firing so let's now run the application to see everything i will come to the dot net folder in the dot net folder i'll take note of the name of my folder where application shift enter open in terminal and here we have to programmatically uh, run dot net so dot slash dot net run the name of the folder and program dot cs file hit enter and it will start executing if everything is okay the server will start running it takes some time and it is now running i can take note where it is running it is listening on this and i can come to the browser and open the index.html file 
so it is this file that can be opened and you can see the data starts streaming and we can have a look at the console log also one error this is fav icon error then we have this connection to this is opened so this is the console.log and this is the whole data that you are seeing so this is how the whole thing is working we'll close it right now thank you